Over the course of science, individuals have attempted to comprehend how the universe started. The most well-known clarification has been something many refer to as the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation. Many investigations and the work of thousands of researchers support this thought, giving proof about how the universe began. Anyway, in the present universe of science, new innovation brings us novel thoughts and viewpoints. These thoughts challenge our thought processes. We're undeniable bits of insight. Neil deGrasse Tyson has become a significant figure in this influencing universe of science. Now, something energizing is going on with the James Webb Space Telescope. It's noteworthy, something that could make us question the theory of the universe's origin. The James Webb Space Telescope has tracked down 750 new universes. These systems are not quite the same as what we anticipated, leading us to re-examine what we assumed we knew about them. This telescope was intended to help us comprehend how cosmic systems became, so it's not shocking that it's stirring up how we might interpret the universe. In the past, researchers said that the Big Bang hypothesis was the best clarification for how the universe began. By this hypothesis, around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe appeared through a mysterious astronomical occasion, like the extreme story of the universe's introduction to the world. However, the pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope have tested this thought. These pictures show universes that are more modest, smoother, older, and more diverse than what the theory of how things came to be predicts. According to the hypothesis, as the universe extends, objects ought to look greater the farther away they are, yet these cosmic systems don't keep that guideline. The hypothesis additionally states that at the very start of the universe, all the stuff that makes up the universe was pressed into a minuscule, Superdense point called a peculiarity. This peculiarity was unimaginably hot, hotter than anything we might actually quantify or make. This thought of a peculiarity comes from a bunch of conditions in physical science proposed by Albert Einstein called general relativity. Inside the peculiarity, all the stuff in the universe was packed into a minuscule space with really high density, meaning there was a tremendous amount of mass and energy pressed into a small space. In less complex terms, Researchers have consistently said the theory of how things came to be was how the universe began. Yet presently, these new pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope are making us question that thought. The universes it found don't fit with what the hypothesis anticipated, and the hypothesis clarification of the early universe probably won't be as sure as we thought. In our ongoing comprehension of the universe, we accept that all the energy in the universe began from a very hot and very thick point called a peculiarity. This peculiarity is like the beginning stage for all that we see in the universe today. After this peculiarity, the universe started to extend and develop over around 13.7 billion years to become what it is today. The extension began with something many refer to as cosmic inflation, where the universe developed unimaginably quickly, much quicker than the speed of light. It's like the very texture of space itself was extending, and all that in it was extending along with it. This infinite expansion made a difference shape the universe by making things more uniform and making way for universes, stars, and other grandiose designs to form. As the universe continued to grow, it didn't extend as quickly as during cosmic inflation, but it still kept getting larger. We call this continuous extension, cosmic expansion. Researchers have seen proof of this extension through things like the way light from far-off universes changes color, known as redshift. Now we should discuss those astonishing pictures of new universes taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. To the majority, these photos look shocking, with many worlds in a single outline. However, for researchers, it's somewhat of a shock. These pictures don't match what their hypotheses anticipated. As a matter of some importance, these worlds are a lot older than expected, which challenges our thought process regarding how cosmic systems structure and develop. According to the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation, there are also many more cosmic systems than we expected. The theory of the universe's origin made forecasts about the number of systems there ought to be and the way in which they ought to be spread out. However, the JWST pictures show a large number, many more universes than anticipated. This makes researchers question whether the hypothesis forecasts are precise. A few researchers are even beginning to overreact a bit, in light of the fact that these discoveries don't match their assumptions at all. Another amazing part of these new cosmic systems is their perfection, 
which conflicts with what the theory of how things came to be proposes. According to the hypothesis, universes ought to show anomalies and varieties in their structures because of how they framed and developed. Anyway, the pictures from the JWST show worlds that are strangely smooth without the normal intricacy and roughness during the development of the universe. All that makes up our universe was fit into a tiny space. As the universe extended and chilled off, changes happened in particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons, which began to interface with light and energy around them. These communications assumed a pivotal part in molding the development of matter in the universe. In the initial couple of moments later the Big Bang, there was a cycle called nucleosynthesis, which involved the making of lightweight components like hydrogen and helium. These components set the stage for the arrangement of stars, cosmic systems, and more complex components as cosmic history unfurled. This combination of basic structure blocks was a critical stage in the universe's development, progressing from an early stage ocean of particles and energy to a state where matter began to take shape. The theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation had expected to see universes that were muddled and disturbed due to various crashes. Anyway, the JWST pictures tell an alternate story. Rather than tumultuous and scattered worlds, the photos reveal smooth circles and efficient twisting shapes looking like the systems noticed in the current day universe. This startling finding challenges the thought that consolidations are a typical piece of universe development. Assuming there are not very many or no consolidations occurring in these universes, as suggested by the theory of how things came to be, it becomes improbable that minuscule universes could develop to become many times bigger. Also, the optical deception anticipated by the expanding universe speculation, where objects seem smaller with increasing distance due to development, doesn't appear to be available. Space experts have noticed a striking design where cosmic systems will more often than not bunch together in huge gatherings, forming many-sided networks across the universe. This noticed huge-scale structure lines up with the expectations made by the theory of the universe's origin. According to the hypothesis, the universe started in a very hot and thick state and then slowly extended and chilled off over time. As the universe extended, gravity played a significant role in molding how matter was disseminated and in arranging universes. The gravitational impacts anticipated by the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation are consistent with what we see today, with gravity pulling matter together, prompting the bunching of galaxies and the arrangement of interconnected filamentary structures known as the cosmic web. The presence of these galaxy groups and the astronomical web structure unequivocally supports the Big Bang hypothesis. How systems are conveyed across the universe lines up with the gravitational impacts anticipated from the beginning thick and growing state proposed by the hypothesis. These factors, including the bunching of systems, the astronomical web structure, and the dispersion of galaxy bunches, give solid proof that the universe advanced from a very thick state and has been extending over billions of years. Now we should return to the size of the cosmic systems found by the JWST. These pictures go against what we thought we had some awareness of the Big Bang hypothesis. According to the hypothesis, little worlds ought to develop and expand through impacts and consolidations with different worlds. Anyway, observations made by the JWST feel somewhat uncertain on this thought. On the off chance that cosmic systems were impacting and combining true to form, we would see proof of these impacts or thick in the cooperating worlds. However, the pictures show something else. The Big Bang is, as well, a hypothesis, just an idea without proof. No, it is really upheld by unquestionable proof, including perceptions of the redshift of light. Proof from far-off worlds gives support for the growing universe hypothesis. Perceptions showing universes creating some distance from one another in all directions suggest ceaseless extension as anticipated by the hypothesis. The overflow of light components like hydrogen and helium found all through the universe is additionally reliable with the theory of the universe's origin expectations. Also, the enormous scale circulation of universes uncovered through galactic overviews matches the designs anticipated by the Big Bang hypothesis. One of the most significant bits of proof for the Big Bang hypothesis is the disclosure of the cosmic microwave background, CMB. The CMB is a faint radiation that fills the whole universe and addresses the luminosity of the Big Bang. This vast radiation, first distinguished in 1965, aligns intimately with the forecasts made by the theory of the universe's origin. The notice qualities of the CMB, 
counting its consistency and temperature dispersion, unequivocally support the thought that the universe was once in a very hot and thick state before going through extension, a focal component of the theory of how things came to be. The revelation of the cosmic microwave background is a critical piece of proof that offers us a special look into the early minutes of the universe. It goes about as a reverberation of the underlying stages following the Big Bang and has played a crucial role in solidifying the theory of the universe's origin as our best explanation for the starting points of the universe. Anyway, ongoing discoveries have tested a few parts of the Big Bang hypothesis. The presence of worlds with ages that appear to originate before the Big Bang goes against the hypothesis major premise, suggesting that the Big Bang may not have happened as initially suspected. Furthermore, everything might not have begun from it. Defenders of the Big Bang hypothesis had anticipated that as the James Webb Space Telescope looked further into space and further back into time, the number of discernible universes would decline in the long run, prompting an enormous dark age. Anyway, late research demonstrates that even two or three hundred million years after the speculative Big Bang, cosmic systems as huge as our Milky Way were normal. The JWST pictures uncover a much more prominent overflow of huge universes at redshifts greater than 10 than what scholars had anticipated, testing the credibility of the theory of the universe's origin. Also, the theory of the universe's origin is related to 16 inaccurate expectations in the ongoing assemblage of logical writing, with only one precise forecast in regards to the wealth of deuterium, a type of hydrogen. A portion of these erroneous forecasts incorporates evaluations of helium overflow, which are off by a factor of 2, and expectations for the overflow of lithium, which are off by a variable of 20. The hypothesis additionally neglects to make sense of different peculiarities. For example, the non-appearance of the expected deception where items ought to seem more modest with expanding distance. These irregularities raise worries about the legitimacy of the theory of the universe's origin. By concentrating on the shades of far-off systems in the infrared piece of the range, Stargazers can assess the periods of the stars within these systems. Some of these systems seem to have stellar populations that are more than a billion years old, going against the hypothesis affirmation that nothing ought to have begun before the Big Bang. In spite of these critical irregularities, it's vital that the expected breakdown of the Big Bang speculation hasn't gotten far reaching consideration in major news sources. The absence of far and wide thoughtfulness regarding late difficulties to the theory of how things came to be can be credited to what's known as the sophomore's new clothes impact, where scrutinizing the hypothesis frequently prompts researchers being condemned or marked as unintelligent, which can hinder further investigation of elective hypotheses. The cyclic universe model, specifically, might actually make sense of the new systems that have been recognized. These worlds may be part of another cycle that we have noticed. Anyway, noting that is fundamental. These elective speculations have their own intricacies and difficulties, and the academic community continues to investigate and discuss these thoughts. The quest for information and understanding in cosmology includes progressing investigation and thought of different theories, and open conversations are imperative for propelling our comprehension of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has provided space experts with phenomenal perspectives on the universe, uncovering peculiarities that could reshape how we might interpret cosmic history. One of the fascinating parts of these revelations is the surprising thickness and circulation of early systems. The presence of such a wealth of huge worlds in the universe's outset proposes that these designs framed significantly sooner than recently accepted. This challenges not just the timetable but also the cycles that were thought to govern universe arrangement. Moreover, the JWST perceptions offer new bits of knowledge into the states of the early universe. For example, the telescope has recognized indications of complex subatomic structures in a portion of these old cosmic systems, demonstrating that star arrangement and substance enhancement could have happened more quickly than the Big Bang hypothesis guessed. This tracking down infers that the underlying states of the universe could have been more favorable to the development of universes and stars than prior models proposed. Besides, the lucidity of the JWST pictures is permitting researchers to study the associations between worlds in more significant subtlety. This could prompt a reassessment of the job that cosmic impacts, dreams, and consolidations play in the development of vast designs. The customary view, which heavily depended on the theory of how things came to be, placed that these associations were significant for the development and evolution of worlds. Anyway, 
The new information proposes that the early universe could have encountered a different dynamic, one that requires re-examining the mechanisms of galaxy formation and evolution. The presence of exceptionally coordinated, smooth worlds in the early universe could likewise suggest that the processes governing cosmic system arrangement were more uniform than previously figured. This could propose that the universe went through a more methodical and less tumultuous improvement stage than the theory of how things came to be anticipated. As researchers continue to break down the information from the JWST, they are probably going to encounter further irregularities that test existing speculations. This continuous examination is vital as it not only tests the legitimacy of the theory of how things came to be, but also makes the way for new hypothetical models that could more readily make sense of the noticed cosmic peculiarities.